we all have ancestors that were either American Indians, settlers, or slaves? Well, some of us. But there is more to this story. Let's see what happened next. This map shows where most of the first settlers lived. As more people came to America, the land in these areas became very crowded. For some people, it was too crowded. So these people began to move to areas of land that had not been settled yet. These people were called pioneers. Pioneers. <laughs> a pioneer is a person who leads the way into a land that people don't know very much about. The pioneers packed all of their belongings into covered wagons, pulled by oxen, and started west. Usually, several families would travel together to help each other along the way. The group of wagons was called a wagon train. The pioneers faced many difficulties. They traveled in all sorts of weather, wind, rain, and snow. And sometimes their wagons would break. The pioneers would often get sick or hurt, and there was no one there to help them. They had to cross rivers, plains, and mountains. There were no roads, so they often followed rivers. When the pioneers came to a place they wanted to live, they stopped. They built new homes and started farms, ranches, and towns. After the towns were started, settlers followed the trails made by the pioneers. Once the settlers reached the new towns, they built homes. And some started businesses to sell the things that other settlers needed. They built schools and churches for the people of the community to use. Some of the towns grew larger and some turned into cities. Many did not. All these communities needed things like food, lumber to build buildings, coal to burn for warmth in the winter, animals to raise for food, and oil to light their lamps. But moving all these things across the country was difficult. It was much easier and faster to carry things on trains. A very important time was when the first railroad tracks were built to cross the entire country. One group started building tracks here in Omaha, Nebraska. Another group of people started building the tracks here in Sacramento, California. Many of the workers in this group came from China to help build the railroad. They worked hard, and finally the tracks came together. They placed a golden spike at the point where the two tracks met here at Promontory Point, Utah. Now the trains could travel all the way from one side of the country to the other side, bringing supplies to all the towns in between. The trains brought people, too. It was much easier and faster to travel on a train than in a covered wagon. After the railroad was finished, many Chinese workers stayed in America and sent for their families to live here, too. Were these people called pioneers too? No.